What is up guys, Quick Cacus here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we are going to be showcasing a quick guide for how to get the brand new Devil's Rune exotic sidearm just introduced today. This is an extremely interesting weapon. As you can see, it's kind of like a charge up fusion rifle and a sidearm built into one gun. Very sweet, very fun gun to use, but how do you get it? Again, this is gonna be a very quick guide this is definitely one of the easiest exotic quests you can ever do in Destiny, but it's a little confusing because you don't do what the game tells you to do. So let's get started. First things first, when you log on today, you will be presented with this little info card saying that you have to go and kill champions in the sundial to access this weapon. Now, if you're wondering, do you need to go somewhere to pick up a quest where you have to kill, you know, 10 champions in total? No, you actually head right into the sundial. And that whole spiel about killing champions seems to not matter at all. So we actually went and did a legendary Sundial run. That's one of the new things that launched today alongside the Sardom quest because we thought, well, there's gonna be more harder champions. Again, that really didn't matter. It seems like all you really need to do is complete one Sundial run. And as you can see, at the end of that Sundial run, as part of the reward screen, the quest step for the Devil's Ruin will be available to pick up. So grab it, and then it only has one step to head to Saint-14 in the tower. And so once you do that, your quest step is going to update and now you're going to have to play a special mission. This mission is going to be available on the EDZ, as you can see kind of in the bottom left hand corner. You select it, it's only 750 light, but the light doesn't matter because there are no enemies present in this entire mission. So very, very soloable. Now this mission takes place on the Twilight Gap PVP map and what you're going to need to do as you can see is explore the map and basically collect the loot from all of these dead crucible robots. There are 10 in total hidden around this map and I'm going to show you all 10 locations starting now. All right, now once you've collected the loot from all 10 of these robots, the quest step is going to update and you will be instantly awarded this sidearm. So make sure you have an extra inventory space in your special slot. By the way, at this point, you can get out of the mission and start using this weapon, or if you stay in, there is quite a lot of fan service with chatter between Shax and Sate 14 if you want to turn your volume up and enjoy that. It's pretty funny. Guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.